10 Most Amazing Raw Operations Number 10. Operation Smiling Buddha Operation Smiling Buddha was the name given to India's nuclear program. RAW was given the task of keeping the entire operation under wraps. This was also the very first time that RAW was asked to get involved in a project inside India. On May 18, 1974, India detonated a 15 kiloton plutonium device at Pakhran, and became a member of the elite group of nations who were nuclear ready. It was in fact, such a secret mission that even the intelligence agencies of countries like China and US were unaware of any such activity by India. Number 9. Operation Leech Surrounded by Arakans and dense forest, Myanmar had always been a tricky area for Indian intelligence. India wanted to promote democracy and help put a friendly government in the region. For this, RAW established Burmese rebel groups and pro-democracy parties in the region, like the Kachin Independence Army Kia. India allowed Kia to carry out trade in jade and precious stones. They even gave out weapons to them. But when relations with Kia turned sour and it became a source of training and ammunition for northeastern rebel groups, RAW initiated Operation Leech. Their mission was to assassinate the Burmese rebel leaders as an example for other rebel groups that conspired against the welfare of Myanmar and India. In 1998, six top rebel leaders were shot dead and 34 Arakanese guerrillas were arrested the account of gun running in the country. Number 8. Khalistan Movement The mid-80s was a dark period in India. Backed by the ISI. The Khalistani militancy was reaching its peak, enhancing the possibility of separation of Punjab from India. RAW set up two covert groups, Counterintelligence Team X or CITX and Counterintelligence Team J or CITJ. The objective of CITX was to target Pakistan while CITJ was supposed to target the Khalistani groups. RAW not only managed to flush out all the Khalistani militants from the streets of Punjab, but also destabilized a number of major cities in Pakistan, eventually forcing ISI to retreat and end all activities there. Number 7. Operation Chanakya It was the raw operation in the Kashmir to infiltrate various ISI-backed Kashmiri separatist groups, and restore peace in the Kashmir Valley. RAW not only managed to successfully infiltrate the area, but also found the evidence of ISI's involvement in the training and funding of Kashmiri separatist groups in the valley. They were also able to create a split in the terrorist organization, Hezbollah Mujahideen and create pro-Indian groups in Kashmir. Number 6. Operation Cactus In November 1988, Around 200 Tamil rebels, a part of the People's Liberation Organization of Tamil Elam, cloaked, invaded Maldives, with orders from Indian Prime Minister Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, Indian Army sent 1600 troops by air to restore order in there. RAW played a key role in this operation by providing the army with necessary intelligence. Swift and precise operation carried out by the Indian Army. Navy and RAW helped restoring government's rule in Maldives within hours. Number 5. Snatch Operations with IB A snatch operation is when RAW officers catch the suspect in a foreign country and get them into the country for interrogation, in undisclosed locations. This is generally done to bypass a lengthy extradition process. With emergence of Nepal as a terror transit point, RAW and the intelligence bureau started closely monitoring the movement of suspected terrorists in Nepal. Consequently in last decade there has been close to 400 successful snatch operations conducted by RAW and IB, in Nepal, Bangladesh and other countries. Some famous snatch netted, Bhupinder Singh Buddha of the Khalistan Commando Force, Laskar Militant Tariq Mahmood, Sheikh Abdul Khwaja, one of the conspirators of the 2611 Mumbai massacre. Number 4. Operation Kahuda Kahuda is the site of the Khan Research Laboratories, 
Pakistan's main nuclear weapons laboratory as well as an emerging center for long-range missile development. RAW first confirmed Pakistan's nuclear programs by analyzing the hair samples of scientists snatched from the floor of barber shops near KRL, which showed that Pakistan had developed the ability to enrich uranium to weapons grade quality. Operation Kahuta was started with the purpose of infiltrating Pakistan's nuclear energy installations. The operation was botched when the then Prime Minister Mr. Murarji Desai inadvertently informed Pakistan's then President Zia ul Haq that India knew about Pakistan's nuclear program. As a result, Pakistan traced all the sources of RAW and Kahuta, and many RAW agents were killed. Number 3. Operation Meghdoot. Pakistanis wanted to lay their claim on the Siachen Glacier and had decided to occupy it on 17 April 1984. Rohr received a tip from a London-based garment company that had supplied Arctic weather gear to the Indian troops for the northern Ladakh region. The company informed them that Pakistan too, had bought very similar gear. Raw intercepted vital information that proved Pakistan was planning an incursion in the Siachen Glacier. The information helped the Indian Army take control of Siachen before Pakistan. It resulted in Indian domination of all major peaks in the region. Number 2. Amalgamation of Sikkim Bordered by Tibet, Nepal, Bhutan and West Bengal in the eastern Himalayas, Sikkim was ruled right from Indian independence by a Maharaja, who was however, recognized by the Indian government as a Dharma Raja or Chojil. In 1972, Rawl was authorized by Indra Gandhi to install a pro-Indian democratic government there. Rawl was able to solve this uphill task in a period less than three years, and on 26 April, 1975, the state was recognized as the 22nd state of the Indian Union. Number 1. The Black Tiger Ravindra Kaushik, was a famous theater artist in his earlier days. He was spotted by RAW officials during one of his dramatic meet and was contacted and offered the job of an undercover agent. In 1975, he was sent to Pakistan where he managed to join Pakistani army, and rose to the rank of major. Kaushik was instrumental in saving thousands of Indian lives and gave invaluable information to the Indian intelligence agencies. He was conferred the title of Black Tiger by Raw. Kaushik's family claimed that the storyline of Bollywood movie Ek the Tiger was based on the life of Kaushik. <laughs>